It seems like these days we're being asked to forget about the environment as a whole and instead we're focusing just on the climate. Now to a dire warning about climate change. According to a new report, experts say that we have until 2030 to avoid catastrophe. Climate change, global warming, global cooling, we've heard it all. What's going on out there? Well, surface temperature of the planet is warmer than it was 100 years ago. About nine-tenths of a degree Celsius. Is that a lot? No, it's not a lot. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse. The United States, to the horror of the world, withdrew from the Paris Agreement. Was uh, Mr. Trump right to get out of this particular deal? Yes. Fundamentally, it would have done almost nothing for climate and it would have been incredibly costly. Mm -hmm. So getting out doesn't actually do anything bad about climate, but it saves us a lot of money. The differing perspectives on climate change are dizzying. What are the actual challenges we face? Are we accurately identifying them? Are we taking the right approach with solutions? 2030 CO2 emissions, got to get them down by almost half. The truth is, we are viewing climate change and our environment in an extremely incomplete and ineffective way. Our environment is a complex organic system, yet modern society is viewing it as a mechanical set of parts that we can adjust individually. Actually, even if we cut greenhouse emissions to zero, if we continue to degrade the organs and tissues of our living Earth, the planet will still die a death of a million cuts. It's time for a new approach, but to do that, we must be willing to not only open our minds, but our hearts as well.